So the time is 7 a.m. I'm not even sure how you're allowed to wake up at this time in the morning. It is still dark outside. But anyways, I've got 9 a.m. So I need to go and get to that now. <laughs> Alright, so we've made it to South Ken. We've got ourselves a hot chocolate from Prayer. Honestly, whoever invented the subscription from Prayer, you, you've done the business. Like, I, I, you can have my kids, genuinely. This stuff is unreal. So I've actually been at university now almost 10 weeks and I haven't even like shown you any of my university life. I mean, I keep complaining about it, but I don't show you. So today I thought I'd show you a day in my life at Imperial, which, yeah. And basically I just thought I'd start off by giving you a bit of context because everyone loves a bit of context. So basically I am actually at Imperial. I mean, a lot of people seem to think that I'm like actually thick, which is not ideal to be honest. But yeah, I think that's just because I've just gone through life and I have like zero common sense. And basically I'm studying biomed, which is a three year course. And um, yeah, it's, it's not as much fun as I thought it was going to be. And basically this morning I have a lecture at nine o'clock, which is why I'm away now, which which is just not fun either. Genuinely though, on my way to uni, I get to walk past this every single day. I mean, what a life. Anyways, so the reason I haven't actually started today at uni is because I went home for the weekend. It is a Monday today. We are starting the week fresh. <laughs> I am a bit worried about this week just because I've got a lot of like coursework and everything in because it's, it's starting to like heat up with like exams coming up in after January. So it's fair to say that I do actually have a lot on this week. I mean, obviously I am only in my first year, but I seem to just be constantly working. I mean, most of my mates at uni don't seem to ever be doing anything and I'd much rather be doing that. However, I don't know, it has to be done, I guess. I have applied now, I can't drop out as much as I'd love to. But yeah, anyways, the time is now creeping up to nine o'clock. I do need to get to my lecture, so I'm gonna go rush off to do that now. And I'll see you after what is going to be a dreadful three hours of my life because we are doing statistics today and I, I hate statistics because I basically had to learn to code from it from scratch and that's horrible. Anyways, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. We're about halfway through the lecture and I finally can have my breakfast. Honestly, vegan sausage rolls for a pound, absolute bargain. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, that was long. Anyways, the time is now one o'clock. I basically just had a three and a half hour lecture which um, my brain is um, my brain is fried. My brain is fried, to say the least. Like genuinely, the only thing that gets me through these lectures is the fact that I get a sausage roll at break time, which is only five minutes long, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so more or less just for the context of the video and also just to explain why in my last video I said I spent my entire time in my room is that I only have three lectures a week, which means I only technically leave my room three times a week. I can literally spend the rest of the week if I want to in my room, which is, um, yeah. However, those three lectures that I do each week, well, yeah, that's not it. That's probably like a third of my workload each week. Like it is, it, it's, it's ridiculous, okay? So more or less, I actually do three modules. However, I am technically starting four because I'm doing lab pod after Christmas, which I'm not looking forward to because that's a nine till six, one day a week. And basically for each module, which is in effect biology, chemistry and maths, I have to do pre-reading, which can take five hours. Honestly, it, it's long. And each pre-reading I have to write notes, which is why I literally have more notes written than I did for my entire A-level chemistry at this point. And I also have to do consolidation work after each session, which is just, yeah not fun at all like genuinely when i started uni i was under the impression that i would have to do no work because loads of my friends that i visited last year at other unis a lot of which that are doing very well respected courses do literally nothing however i seem to be working more or less a full-time job um, of which i spend yeah all of it in my room which is not great for the mental health which is why i explained in the last video Anyways, it's time to do the lovely consolidation exercise from a lecture that i learned literally nothing from life at university is just fun what can i say So you know how it goes, I completed the consolidation work and I, and I thought I was going to be able to get a break now, maybe get some lunch and uh, walk into South Ken and just get out of my room for a bit again. But uh, it turns out I've got another lecture now for an hour and it's on how to read a scientific paper and um, I cannot wait to start that. That's going to be great. So uh, yeah, we're going to do that now. This is a really uninspiring day in the life, isn't it? So yeah, I'm now going to learn about the interesting side of reading a scientific paper and yeah, I'll see you in a bit. an absolute heart attack. I thought I was unmuted with the camera on. Classic, classic. Well, that's an hour of my life I'm never gonna get back. <laughs> oh well, it's all fun, sort of, maybe. Anyways, I'm absolutely starving now because all I've eaten today is a prep 
bloody mince pie and a vegan sausage roll, which was quite nice. But it's now three o'clock and uh, yeah, I need to eat. So this is the kitchen, as you can see. And um, as you might be able to now notice, um, most of my meals are uh, microwavable meals because I actually can't be asked to cook and I haven't really got time to cook. And also there is literally no fridge space um, for fresh food. So we, we microwave those meals. So it turns out I've actually run out of microwave meals. So instead we're going to be reheating some mince that I made about three weeks ago, but um, I'm sure it's fine. So. Um, yeah, in fairness, this absolute delicacy that I have curated is um, probably a lot healthier than whatever I was trying to try and eat. So, yeah, we'll have this. Oh, lovely stuff. Okay, now that is actually peng. I mean, what can I say? I just am a good chef. Two hours later. So, I fell asleep for uh, two hours. Oh. The thing is though, I literally don't even know how I managed it. Like I literally lied down on my bed for five minutes. That, that, that was all I was going for, for five minutes to lie on my bed, just to rest myself after eating that beautiful lunch. But no, two hours later, here we are. The thing that's quite depressing about it though, is that I do it quite regularly. So anyways, I've got some more work that I need to get in with now, like it's some pre-reading for a lecture later in the week, because basically I am going to be going out tonight, but, and um, I won't have time to do it later. My ticket was £25, so... Yeah, um, for a student night, that is ridiculous. But yeah, I need to get ahead on that work now so that I can do that later. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's very complicated. Honestly, at this point, I should just rename the video 24 hours on my room challenge because that is basically what my uni life is becoming. But yeah, anyways, let's get on with some more work because I just love doing work. <laughs> So that is today's work in the bag. I mean, I got a solid hour of work done there. I mean, I did actually technically go to the shop in the middle and pick myself up some lovely drink for this evening. I've, I've treated myself this evening as well. We've gone for Smirnoff rather than Glenn's Vodka, which is just, you know, I'm really pushing the boat out this evening. Anyways, enough about my bougie beverage choice that I've chosen for this evening. I am actually going to be going to the gym. Yeah, I know, look at me, I'm, I'm massive. And um, yeah, I will see you in a bit. <laughs> So we are back from the gym, honestly. I can't even describe to you like how good going to the gym has been for me, like mentally and everything. Like I actually normally hate going to the gym, like I swear, like I would never ever have gone to the gym. Like I haven't been to the gym in like three years. And since I've started going to the gym, like everything's just everything's just been better again. Although in today's gym session, I have completely messed my finger up. Like I genuinely almost lost my finger, but we won't talk about that because it's only positive stuff at the moment. Anyways, look, all I'm gonna be doing now is making some dinner and then I'm going out. I mean, I would normally be working now until late, late. So I haven't actually done that much work today, but um, I can't be asked to vlog anymore because I'm, I'm getting very, very tired. I mean, even though I have napped the entire day, I'm getting very, very tired. Anyways, not really sure how this video is going to turn out, but I genuinely hope that you have enjoyed spending time with me today because I've enjoyed vlogging. If you want to watch any more of my videos, please do. And also, if you have any videos that you want to see me post going forward, please let me know down in the comments because, yeah, why not? And yeah, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, check out my other vlogs, and yeah, have a nice day.